Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to give you a tour of the Google Expeditions app on a Chromebook as it appears in December 2019. 2019, a big year for the Expeditions app, lots of changes. So let's just give a little brief overview of what you see. So, and we are on the Chromebook. Notice my shelf right there. And this is the Android app. There is no web app for Google Expeditions. So we look here, the home screen is this Discover screen, and this is where you search for tours. They show you a few at the top of the screen, right? Um, you can scroll through them, but you can also just use the search bar right here for, you can search for all kinds of things. I don't know why I just typed search, but yeah, and you see stuff comes up. If you like it, you take it, you can download it. We're good to go. You can choose AR or VR now for, Chromebooks, I would highly suggest you use VR. You would need a Chromebook with really good internal specs and a world-facing camera to do AR. So my Chromebook has some good specs, but it doesn't have a world-facing camera. So I just go to VR and that will change my results somewhat as well. All right, let's get out of this search and let's see what else we have. We have our library right here. So the library is everything that you've downloaded. So these are ones I've downloaded. I suggest you don't really need to keep them on your device very long because you can always reinstall them. They do take up a little bit of memory. And so these are three I've downloaded plus a uh, tour creator tour that I've downloaded. And actually, if I look at right here at my tours under library, I see all of my tour creator tours plus tour creator tours that others have created and that I have liked while it, looking at them in Google Poly. All right, from there, class. So let's say I wanna lead one of these expeditions, right? So I go to class and I can either explore, this is what students do. As a teacher, you click guide, you click get started, and you can now lead one of your expeditions. Also notice at the very top, we have our Wi-Fi network. And, it, and that's the name of my Wi-Fi network, Grimicki. A uh, combination of two deceased cat names, RIP both of you. And what I would say is as you do Google Expeditions on any device, it is always telling you the name of your Wi-Fi network. If you don't see the name of your Wi-Fi network, there's something probably wrong. So let's lead one of these real quick and click guide. And again, you're reminded of your Wi-Fi network, Grimicki, right there, right? I click got it, I click start, and that starts it. And now I can point out points of interest. I can pause giving the tour, and I can also leave using the X. At that point, it actually gives me the option to delete, which I don't want to do, let me just leave that. And that's it, that's Google Expeditions on a Chromebook in, December 2019, great for leading students on quick tours. If you don't have a Chromebook, you can always grab one of your students and then use that to lead a group of students on a tour. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.